24 action coming to you from yeah. Orange County, Huntington Beach. My name is CT Lux. We got Senpai here, of course. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> I've got a celebrity in our midst, of course, for <laughs> no, commentary. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Maybe with Wadi over there yeah. sitting down, even though it says 6WX. <laughs> they get mistaken for each other sometimes, though, to be fair. Oh, uh, Usually it's more like Wadi will get mistaken for Shofu uh -huh. or uh, something like that. That one I can see more. That one's yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's all, man, it is what it is. But anyway, we're going to go into this first round. I believe that's Nico. Yeah, oh, yeah I got Wadi. And I, I know from the, the SoCal Faithful coming into the heart of battle, one of the storylines that people were wanting to see was we have this hidden monster, not really hidden, but a monster, you know, Nico. How is he going to do against all these celebrity players coming into heart of battle? Right. And the day of the tournament came and, you know, it's kind of like the people prayed for the hero to come and the <laughs> hero was nowhere to be found kind of a situation because Nico didn't end up going. Well, here's his chance to yeah. do it because he's already at, uh, you know, 0% of 59, not looking bad at all in this game one. Right, definitely. And uh, Wadi was looking so sharp at Heart of Battle coming in, like all the way to winner's finals and just putting in so, so many solid results and just like right on cue, battles right back to make it even. Yeah, very true. Like, oh no, and then the spinny arms. Oh, I love that he switched to Shield Monado right in the middle of that, but unfortunately oh. going to cause him to die. Not able to get the, you know, height that he needed for that up B. Right, that looks like one of those brilliant plays on Nico's part, just not enough juice to get quite back to recover to really seal the deal on that. Yeah, because that was such a smart play by him too, but yeah, unfortunately a little too far off. So he's um, going to have to fight his way back in here. It would have been the rough trade-off should he have gone for the jump instead of the shield, but then he would have died to the side special, <laughs> right, all exactly. the hard choices. <laughs> oh well, either way, trying to make a new plan here. Getting a uh, speed monado on deck, but right now kind of running into a lot of these projectiles. Right, right we got the grab. He looks like he has a little bit of trouble. Wadi opening up some extra credit already on the second stock. Yeah, a little bit climbing here, but if he can just work his way in slowly. All right, I like the back air, and smash monado on deck. So if Wadi does a stand at ledge, something like that, he can get a great tilt. Yeah, he's going for the kill right here, right here, right now. But of course, that does put him in some danger. But nice. there's no danger if he land the hits and takes that stock and evens it up. Absolutely, and smart on him to recognize what Wadi was going for. Quite often, he does fade back and try to use neutral B or you know gyro or something like that. You can easily punish it with a, a back air as long as uh, Shulks is, especially. Right. Yeah, and especially in those situations, you know that Rob is going to kind of go back to set up some of those projectile camping situations or mm -hmm. the gyro to camp it out. You're going to kind of look for, especially kind of true to Shulk form, Nico is going to pick his spots when he can actually go in and really put on, uh, you know, put in work. Right, and trying to go real deep right there to catch Wadi off guard. Yeah, Wadi one of those this moments. Game. All right, I like this aggressive play from Wadi when he's getting off the ledge here. Doesn't want to let uh, Nico, ooh, never mind. Nico going to do exactly what he wants to do and then pop off a little bit with the dashes, switching over to sp uh, Speed Monado. And it seems like all the momentum's been pretty firmly on... Uh, on Nico's side, and he has that shield monado up, so he can't really get a kill. Wadi's gonna be needing to find an answer here pretty quickly, so Nico doesn't run away on this last stock. Right. Oh, and just gonna side B. <laughs> I mean, wasn't Nico in shield a second before? Yeah. <laughs> Wadi called that out so hard. Kind of caught uh, Nico by surprise, and sometimes the the answer you need yeah. is the most unlikely one, the the rogue side special. Right. And oh my goodness, that Buster monado gonna add so much damage to Wadi quickly off of one combo. He's slowly trying to work his way back in this. Yeah, just a few neutral exchanges from being ahead of it, but you have Nico trying to capitalize in neutral by going to the speed art. I like it, and he's uh, covering this ledge right now so much. Why are you going to have to race up to the sky? He's looking like he's in the blast zone right now. Couldn't even see the bubble on him. Yeah, very good. You know, that's a kind of a pacing, kind of the shot clock situation, trying to time out that smash Monado or that, that smash art. Right. And only give, uh, you know, only give... Nico one shot at really hitting him hard. Yeah, very true. Smart on Wadi to go super high and wait out the Monado. That's a good point. And now the scary situation. Both of them pretty close to kill percent. Uh, Shulk not looking too, too bad, but if he takes one more hit, it's going to be dangerous. It'll be kind of a matter of seeing if Nico is able to manage his shield art in this situation. You know, make Ooh. sure that he on offense gets his hits with with a smash, but keep shield on when he's in the defensive disadvantage. Right, and that's exactly what you saw him do right there. He had the smash Monado on, but opted to go for a little bit safer motion and switch to shield. And now with no Monado, back air not going to take it just yet. What can he do off this ledge, though? Ooh. Wow, what a ballsy option. Calling him out. You had Nico waiting in ledge trap, and that's usually where he has all that advantage in the world. It's kind of a, a reputation here in SoCal being, you know, you don't want to be on the ledge versus Nico, but right. Wadi with no fear. Side special, just the, the Robocopter is just yeah. killing everything. <laughs> and that's something that I hear people get a little bit tilted about is that side special where he can just have 
the last hit of his hand hit you and it pulls you all the <laughs> way over towards whichever direction Rob is facing. So definitely going to take the stock there. Yeah, it's about time they made that move, you know. <laughs> really good, good a and move? useful. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that definitely wasn't a move before, but now it's it's pretty good. Nico going right back in the counter pick. Uh, no changes. I think maybe he might feel like Wadi got away with one and stole it. <laughs> he got all that advantage coming in, uh, you know. Clo almost closing out the game, but Wadi with the clutch play. Right, and I would agree with that. Nico definitely had that game in his hands, but I feel like it was that last interaction with the ledge, obviously. I right. mean, he chose not to go with for any Monados or anything, and it just got scooped up in the side B. Unfortunate spot. But now he's looking really good. Once again with this ledge trap situation. Yeah, it's picking up right where he left off and keeping Wadi. Wadi's air times on this game has been probably close to 30 seconds <laughs> of uh, the 40 <laughs> seconds of the match. Right. He's been floating out there. At some point, he's going to have to worry about some fuel. Yeah, exactly. Wadi, <laughs> man, he's somebody who looks like he's not managing his fuel at all, but he totally is. But either way, that up smash is going to take him off of a roll from ledge. And Wadi battling right back, comes out of that invincibility and has Nico a little bit on the ropes. Let's see what kind of edge guard situation he's able to make. He's already put on 40 damage in the advantage state, but Nico able to reverse it and get back to the stage and resetting the neutral for both of them. Yeah, he's looking all right. Even though at 109%, he's been staying alive for much longer than that, so Wadi going to have a little bit of trouble bringing this back. Oh, these backers. Oh, got him up in the combo right now, up to 53. Oh, my God, and it continues off stage. He's just going after him. No fear. The smash attack is out, and Nico is feeling some momentum <laughs> going for uh, oh, yeah. some ballsy plays. And that down smash not going to do too much since it knocked him to the right side. Yeah, but still, uh, getting yes. out of there we go. <laughs> I was like, uh, Wadi's going to probably be looking for a back air or something like that, but beat me to the punch. I'm tilted that it actually worked. <laughs> Wadi goes for that so often on stage, and it's extremely risky for Rob. I mean, he lands with so much end lag, but uh, if you walk into it, it will work out. And then on top of that, too, you have to, like, Nico as a player is trying to pick his spots and doing a lot of, you know, mental work trying to work through the wall right. that Wadi has. And every once in a while, Wadi just throws out a rogue option like we saw in game one exactly. with the, the side special or that back air. You know, it'll work. Uh, yeah, you can't only go for those 10,000 IQ options. You got to go for the, like, day one for glory <laughs> combo sometimes. Right. It can work out. Right now, he's bringing this all the way back into even, and this could be scary. Wow. What? That was such a good option. You know, just feathered away to bait out something from Nico, and then very aggressive up smash to steal out the stock. Everything he's doing is tilting me right now. <laughs> I bet he got down throw into that walk away, walk back, up smash. Okay, the up B gonna do it. I thought he was living for a second there, right. but now things are still looking even. As scary as these situations are sometimes, they bring it right back into uh, even every every stock. Yeah, let's see which one of them gets the wheels turning first. Uh, starting to look like maybe Nico has the upper hand coming through. Oh yeah, with the buster on too, gonna rack up 55 real quick. We're not done. And Wadi with an aggressive entry option there with an empty uh, hop off the ledge, but Nico called it out with a grab. And that gyro's there. You know he's looking for down. So uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were going to see some shenanigans happening with the gyro. Right. Started. I'm surprised. He oh, my God. The spinning arm's good. Fade away. I love the DI, man. People are so scared to fade away when they're off stage like that, but you absolutely have to. <gasps> oh, dramatic Woo! finish through. And, yeah, it actually uh, Nintendo got it right that time. Yeah. Nico stealing that, uh, that game. It's kind of the reverse of uh, the first game we had. You know, Wadi looked like he had all the momentum in the world, and Nico just mm -hmm. kind of found fifth gear and drove it home. Yeah, you got to go off stage versus Wadi like that, too. I mean, he's somebody who likes to put out a lot of options, right. like laser, gyro, when he's off the stage to cover himself. But if you challenge him with an aerial, it should work out well. And it looked good for Nico right there. All right, let's see what uh, Wadi has in store for us for game three. Of course, the loser gets to counterpick <laughs> the stage. And I, I would like be surprised we're going right to go right back. Yeah, I was going to say, Wadi. Oh, okay, oh, okay we're going to okay, go battlefield. battlefield. Interesting. Yeah. It'll be interesting how Battlefield shapes it up. Maybe, you know, from Wadi's standpoint, it allows him to kind of cover some of the approach options that Nico has just by standing underneath the platform. Right, maybe mess up his spacing right. on the back air or something like that if he lands on it. And, on, you know, on the flip side, it's uh, a little less uh, a little less room to run. Um, you know, I would have thought it would go the other way, though, you know, as far as counter picks, Rob being with all the projectiles wanting more room to run. Very true. Yeah, Wadi actually, I mean, he does definitely play at the ledge quite a bit with his uh, down and things like that. But he does like to get in your face at times and start up a quick combo. Right. Uh, that was interesting. I'm not sure. Uh, I thought that forward air was going to connect from Wadi. And they're going back and forth in neutral. One of these players just hoping desperately to get that early lead and try to bring it home. Right. And oh, I like that. <laughs> Coming from so high up and actually still going to connect that hit with Wadi. Oh, and he keeps trying to set up something with Smash Monado at the ledge, but Wadi not allowing it. He comes in so aggressive every time, and that down smash looking clean. 
Oh, wow, that's <laughs> good. They're just run up forward smash, red the spot dodge. Maybe in Nico's head a little bit? Let's see. All right, Nico, try to trap him at the ledge right here. Oh, no. Why are you going to move out of it? But good thing he did not roll forward into that down smash. He yeah. was still in Shield Monado, though, so it might have been okay either way. Right. And he picks up that combo out of the throw. Not enough to kill, but he's getting he's in that danger percent. Right, and that's going to be a re-grab, but smart on him to go above the ledge and knock Wadi away from him, knowing that he was in such a horrible situation. And Wadi doing a good job of just trying to cut off the stage, but Nico picks up a straight back air and reverses the situation. Yeah, and he's got that Smash Monado on. Yeah, he wants his kill here, just kind of playing a little risky. He's going for jump. Oh, there's the shield. All right, playing it a yeah, little more Yeah, smart safe. to go shield. I don't think... Okay, yeah, because Wadi otherwise would have up-thrown right there and definitely would have killed him. The Nair going to take it, though. All right, that's a game of frames. I don't know if you saw, but... Shield, shield Arts just finished the, uh, oh, okay. right before he got that hit. Like, right before. If you go back and watch the replay, it was <laughs> a matter of, like, a quarter of a second after that. Sad. So uh, the, the question is, did Wadi know, or did he just, uh, you know, pick I up I think he would have went for it either way. Wadi <laughs> loves to nair. Don't right. you worry. It's just like his Mewtwo. We're nair. Yeah. All right, but how can he get on the stage? You know, uh, Nico really good at catching him off guard there at the ledge and while they're off on the side. A very crafty recovery, and it battles his way back to center stage and just trying to tack on. All kinds of uh, extra damage on the stock. That's the second uh, second uh, backslash that's uh, come down yeah. in from the sky. Oh my god, wow, he skated so over fast. there so fast with it's the like, dash tag. <laughs> like Sonic with a sword. Right, what the heck? Looking good right there. He just needs to, you know, get another one of those buster combos, and this is not out of reach by any means. And Nico just desperately trying to put in as much damage as he can, you know. If he's able to take the stock before, that's, that's good, but at the very least, he's trying to put himself within striking distance. We've seen that last stock has always been so pivotal, at least the last two games. Nothing would dictate that it would be any different coming into this final game of the set. Right, and good DI right there to not die to the spinning arms like before. Ooh, almost jumping right into that back air once again. Gotta be careful here. I like the grab. Okay, he has the ledge situation once again. Oh, uh, that, that down smash picks him up, and Wadi uh, about to bring home the uh, the win and upset the, the local hero. Not really a true upset, but, you know... Uh, is this yep. three out of five though, or? I think we're in quarter, so it's uh, it's both three, I think. That's okay. Three. Okay. Yeah, that's I got three. confirmation from uh, War Chief the God. Uh, <laughs> shout out to War Chief, uh, letting us know it is best of three in winners' quarters. So, this right. this last game, winner go or it's a winner go to losers bracket for them. Uh oh. So and all this damage racking up. Wadi doing the wow. crazy combos, and yeah, you hang on the ledge for a little bit too long, gonna lose your.